Welcome to a new video tutorial. Today, I'll teach you how to create mock-up images using Illustrate AI. After that, we'll jump into Photoshop where I'll demonstrate how to insert your product or design into the mock-up. This will help you make impressive presentations for your products. Let's dive in. Suppose we aim to design a mock-up of a canvas against a vibrant wall. We could use a prompt like, simple front view of a white blank square canvas on a colorful painted wall, clean, natural light, minimalist style. When you're all set, click the Create button and give it a moment for the images to generate. As you'll notice, I chose the photographic art style. You can also opt for a 3D render. I've selected a count of four images for this demonstration. You might notice in a few images there's studio equipment, like tripods. Depending on the prompt, sometimes unwanted objects appear. To minimize this, you can specify items you don't want in the negative prompt section, just as I've done here. Click the Create button to produce a new set of images. I'm drawn to the top left image. I'm after a white canvas with an appealing wall. The bottom left one catches my eye too. It can be cropped to center the canvas. You can publish and upscale your favorite images. It might take some time to publish, but once it's complete, you'll see a green Download button that allows you to save the image to your computer. The image is saved in PNG format and typically has a numeric file name. You can right click to view it with extra large icons. It's also a good idea to rename the file to something more memorable. Open the file in Adobe Photoshop. You'll notice it's 4096 pixels wide. The canvas appears slightly off to the right, so I'm using the crop tool to recenter it. I'm maintaining a 1 to 1 ratio to keep its square shape. As you can observe, there's a grid during cropping. By comparing the canvas's left and right sides against this grid, I'm visually aligning it to ensure it's centered. At times, the images might seem dull or too dark. You can quickly adjust them using Camera Raw. If you're not familiar with editing, the Auto button can often be helpful. I'll boost the white slightly to make my canvas appear brighter. Once you're satisfied with the adjustments, click OK. Now, to overlay your illustration onto this mock-up, you can either use File, and then Place Embedded, or just drag your image directly onto it. This action creates a smart object of the image on a new layer automatically. Adjust its size to fit the canvas as needed. Depending on the mock-up, there might be shadows on the white areas, like if there's a window casting a shadow onto the canvas, or if it's a cylindrical mug showing a gradient. In such cases, you can use the Multiply Blending Mode to allow those shadows to show through your illustration. However, for this particular image, since there aren't pronounced textures or shadows, I don't need to use the Multiply Mode. First, let's hide the Penguin Illustration layer and select the Mockup layer. Next, head to the Object Selection tool and click on the white canvas. This action will select the entire object for you. Now, bring back the Penguin Illustration layer by making it visible and select it. Next, click on the layer mask icon, which resembles a rectangle with a circular cutout. This action creates a layer mask based on the shape of our white canvas. If we click on the link between the illustration and the mask, it'll unlink them, allowing us to adjust the size and position of the illustration within the mask as desired. We can switch the blending mode to multiply to check if it integrates more seamlessly. By right clicking on the penguin layer name, a variety of options will appear. We're looking for the replace content option. Using this, we can effortlessly swap our current illustration with another one from our computer. When you're satisfied with the outcome, you can export the image. Navigate to File, then Export, and select Save for Web. Pick the JPEG format, set your desired quality, and adjust the image size. After configuring your export settings, click Save to store the image on your computer. Alternatively, you can choose File, then Save as, and pick the JPEG format from the drop-down menu. If you explore the AI library, you'll find numerous mockups created by others. Enter keywords like mockup, canvas, or mug to find them. You can view them in a larger format, download your favorites, or remix them for a similar design. 
They can be sorted by popularity or the most recent ones. That's it for today's video. I hope you found it valuable. Drop a comment below on the tutorials you'd like to see next. Also, consider joining our Pixaroma community group on Facebook for daily challenges and more AI insights. If you haven't seen already, there's a watch tutorials button in the AI library that directs you to this series of Illustrate AI tutorials. Make sure to stay updated with the latest lessons. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.